going on YouTube we are back with another gameplay finally y'all been asking for me here you go Mutthead League if you don't know what it is I'm gonna break it down real quick 20k league kind of like an NFL season there's playoffs at the end then there's a championship three people per conference two conferences I'm playing the GOAT Henry in my first week what a tough break what a tough draw let's see if we could get it done today before we actually get in the video I know it's a little messy back here um, let me get in the swing of things it's been a while but I'm pretty much, I'm packing for OU. I'm going to this Oklahoma Madden event. Hopefully I could get some IRL shots and some great gameplay for you guys to post onto the channel. First live event I'm actually gonna be playing in in a while, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get into this gameplay versus Henry. Like I said, week one, Mutthead League versus Henry. Let's go. And of course guys, excuse me for the little banner on the bottom. I'll try to fix this uh, for the videos going forward. I don't think it looks too bad. It kind of does look a little professional, but also I know you, uh, you guys don't want to see this. So. Next time, I won't have this up. But here we go. We're in Eagles. We're going to be playing Henry. He's running this new version of Dollar. You see right here, there's like six, seven people on the line on the box. Very intimidating defense. Looks pretty scary to play. We do, um, you know, have Bo Jackson, one of the best QBs we've ever used, honestly. He he has any ability you want, and you could fit it with the AP stack. He's right here. Henry, double hard flats on the left. That was definitely a mistake. I think he said he wanted a cloud flat on that left. Um, and you guys might have already seen this gameplay. He posted on his channel. He obviously streamed the game. As there goes MVS down the left sideline, RPO cheese out of that Eagles playbook, man. Um, if you're struggling in Madden, want to get better, the best way to do it, just spam RPOs and play good defense. RPOs are really, really broken in this year's Madden. There are ways to defend them, but when you have a playbook like the Eagles, which has RPO left, RPO right, uh, there's just so many RPOs, it's so hard to stop. But like I said, man, you guys might have already seen this gameplay. I just had to post it because it's Henry, man. It's Henry. He's like the GOAT. He just won the latest championship, uh, latest ring, I should say, honestly. And it's a great gameplay, you know. Whenever you could play someone uh, as high caliber as him or, you know, just anything involving someone really good, um, you want to post it. You want to get watch the video back. I really watched the video once or twice, but I, I actually didn't break down what was happening. It's right here. Um... He, he has Bo Jackson, he has his conductor, he's 5-5. Five of five. I honestly stole the conductor from him. But you know, I'm not even gonna say I stole it. I've been running conductor for a while since like Madden 19, Madden 20. That was really when I was at my height and my prime and my peak. It's right here, it's 7-7, seven, seven. Um, you know. I can't stop him, he could stop me. You know, he's like, I, I'm 4-7, I'm four you know. He's caused three incompletions already. Whereas he's like, I think 5-5, five 6-6. Five, six six. Right here, really, really busted play call. I wanted to just get to a hash. And you know, it's already third and 12, kind of rough. It's right here. I thought I had a dot. I maybe should have lobbed it free formed inside. And it's it's not looking good right now. Fourth and 12, we're not, we're in the middle of the field. He actually sends the heat and we get lucky that he doesn't scream. This was honestly a pretty, pretty ass route combo. I can't lie. I put a corner out on a wheel. That part isn't so bad, but I knew Henry was gonna be doing some crazy adjustments. And he that's just how he plays. So I, I put that corner out and the corner out gets wide open. It's right here. Not the best read. Honestly, when I when I threw it, it looked really bad. But when I caught it or, you know, got my hands on it, it didn't really look too bad. Um, it ends up getting KO. Third and one. We're going to run the smash return play. Got the tight end drag. Got the in route. Got the post. I could throw the in route right there. But I just, I decided, you know what? Let me go get Bo Jackson some yards. He does have 98 speed. Let me get it easy first. Um, right here, we're going back to this money play that, honestly, I've been running... Uh, pretty well in this gameplay so far. He hasn't been able to stop it once. That was that mesh spot with the tight end corner. And there goes double post, classic double post. We got Henry in man coverage. And like I said, I have this conductor. It's very, very hard to set up plays. Eagles has a bunch of easy, nice, quick hike plays that you can run. Double post, um, verticals, obviously. You can audible the bunch strong. It's right here once more. Like I said, double post. He ends up catching that. I think he's eight of eight right now. So man's is cooking me. And we finally get our first incompletion. Um, he ran like that curl flat tight end play. That, that play takes a lot of time, honestly. It's right here, we just sent six. Honestly, we're kind of begging at this point. I wasn't really that comfortable on defense um, at this time of gameplay. I had a few shells that I like to shuffle through. Right here, we ran a cover three cloud. It worked pretty well. We had a contain, so you can't roll out. Right here, what did we do? I think we sent the heat out of spinner. We just sent everyone, and honestly, everything was open. The tight end was open, the drag was open. Right here. He gets a lot of time. I'm not going to complain because he did block his tight end, delay drag, but he does get a lot of time. We sent everyone out of that 6-1. Right here, we get quick hyped, but honestly, we played decent defense. I don't know how that happened. 
I know he was raging when that play happened. Rewind it if you want. Uh, I'll actually rewind it real quick. But like right here, I get clicked onto the DN. We just said, you know what, user something. He low key might have had that, but I had Chanel, which had who had Lurk Artist, and I don't know. That doesn't really happen, especially with gift wrap. We'll take it. We'll counter blessings. Uh, versus Henry, you definitely need all those types of plays. And as soon as that play happened, I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's try to take this into half with a two possession lead. Whether it's up 10, up 14, we will take that. As right here, he ran spinner. We block the crib, motion block, wheel route. We know how good those wheel routes are versus man coverage. Um, and honestly, a really good play call. And honestly, I'm picking up his heat right now. I did not want to score right there, but Plax had other plans. He ends up getting into the end zone. So it is what it is. But, you know, um, we, I don't know. We'll take it. We'll take it. And, of course, there goes Michael Irvin, the cocaine cowboy going deep. Uh, that's one thing about Derwin James. He's on the theme team, right? He, he has that 96 speed, but he has those amazing abilities. Right here, um, I, I was trying to route combo. He was running a lot of man. So I'm like, you know what? Let me let me try that. And, you know, it, it, it worked, right? It worked, but um, it definitely wasn't like a, uh, like a, like a, like, you know, a, a route combo that you see a lot of. Um, right there, that's one of my favorite route combos, verticals with the tight end post. With conductor, it's just an easy quick hike. Right here, bad free form, way to extra seconds, wide open, but instead we are in a fourth and 10. You see the route combo we call, we roll out, we're gonna hit this corner route. The ball was floating in the air for a minute, that kind of scared me, but I have this roaming dead eye, conductor, gunslinger, horror master, set feed lead stack. Um, that's honestly insane stack. It's right here, Plax hits him with a skirt skirt, and he's gone. 19 seconds left in the half. We're playing phenomenal offense in this gameplay. That's just one of those things. Like, I feel like when I'm on it, I really am on it. Like, when I'm playing at high pace, I, I got my conductor. I could call some of these crazy combos that people haven't seen. And right now, it's working to my favor, right? We, we're playing pretty well. He runs Z-Spawn Go right here. And he, we just, we're just sending six right now at this point. We're really just trying to get a shed, take it to half. Honestly, right here, pretty wild defense on my end. That could have easily been a bomb had he had an extra second, had he hit the right free form a lot. But it doesn't matter. Justin Simmons with deep zone KO. Can you get out of there? There's just no space. We end up running out of real estate on that left side. And we're up 14 and a half. That's pretty much one of the best things you can ask for versus Henry. He's right here. Nice, nice lob pass. I thought my guy was going to match Sauce Gardner. He just does not match, unfortunately. Um, Henry isn't running the ball. You know, that's one thing about Dollar. You could run the ball versus Dollar. Since we scored that first possession, I feel like we've been we've been dictating the pace. He does have conductor. Obviously, he wants to call some of these nice like quick hike plays. Um, right there, like I said, we'll get we'll we'll live with that. Right, a four yard pass. Right here, we absolutely scream. All we need is a D line pick. Right here, man. It was so close. Sauce Gardner almost got his hands on it. Right here, great great combo. I ran cover three cloud. I had my cloud flat on the wrong side. Honestly, I still think that that route gets over the cloud flat. Just a bad user. There's too many routes on the field. You saw my user, like it was it was stuck in quicksand. I couldn't do anything. But it's all good. We get back on offense and we're cooking. MVS, left corner route. Can we get out of there? No. This is where things might get a little scary for us. We call this combo that we called earlier in the game, and we're gonna have the tight end wide open. But I don't know who or how or when he got off that block, but dude came out of nowhere. Right here, almost a crazy dot. Thankfully, the KOs. Or right, thankfully I didn't throw a pick on that. That was a tight contested window, but KOs, you know, did their job. It doesn't matter though. MVS is having himself in a game, probably 200 plus yards. Verticals, Henry runs, you know, man right there with Devontae Adams and verticals ends up cooking. So that's one thing I noticed. Henry loves to man up uh, some people right here and we're calling the best plays. Now we're starting to play a little bit of good defense, honestly. We're mixing up the shells. We're, you know, calling the, uh, the right plays. Of course we say that and there's like two corner routes open right there right so i feel like we're playing dc on defense right we're not letting him score in one play we're sending the screamers when we need to right there great defense we sent four off that left edge um right here we do get quick hiked unfortunate on our end and he hits the nice corner route gets a good iraq animation um it is what it is right but we get him in the red zone this is very hard to score down here um he actually ends up throwing that I'm like, okay, I'm about to pick this off. Okay, you know what, it's, okay, it's cool if we don't pick it off. I'm about to KO this. We do neither of the above, and it, unfortunately, he ends up scoring on first and goal when you know it's so hard to score down there. So, uh, it is what it is, right? We have to just continue playing good offense. Right here, nothing open, throw the ball away, live for another down. 17 to 28, five touchdowns. 
Uh, like I said, I've been calling some pretty weird route combos, but they've been working as right here another one. Like I said, Henry was calling a lot of man coverage, so I, I had to go to some man beaters. And, and in this point in the game, he's actually running spinners, so it's kind of like, you know, um, I, I got to call man beaters now if he's in spinner. Obviously, you could disguise it, run zone, but, you know, um, as he does right there, he ran a cover three. The, the safety just doesn't get there on that, on that vertical as wheel route. Um, so we're cooking up now. We could have thrown our one, but I was like, okay, let me see if uh, double post post gets open. This is where things start getting a little weird. I don't know what happens. Right there, like one of the worst route combos I've ever called. Flame me in the chat. I don't give a crap. Uh, that was one of the worst route combos I've ever called. Right here, Kyle Pitts honestly gets KO'd. I had the corner route late if I had enough time. I probably was going to have enough time, but I just wanted to get like, I just wanted the clock to keep ticking, honestly. That's really what I wanted right there. Um, things are starting to get a little weird now, right? Like we we were just cooking like the whole game and then all of a sudden those three plays we kind of got stopped So I don't know what just happened out the blue moon um, We should have ran the ball maybe once or twice or maybe popped an RPO. But it's good. We're playing. We're playing still pretty good defense right here um, Like I said, we're playing good defense We're playing a lot more coverage now in the second half especially when we're up right here We try to send the blitz and it actually does work out in our favor um and here we go, we're gonna send the blitz again, try to scream, and KO got our back. So I don't know how we got that stop, but we end up getting that stop. 38-28, um, this game is pretty much over, right guys? This game is pretty much over, right? So right here, we're gonna hit Bo Jackson up the seam, good game. Bruh, I'm not using gift wrap, I won't lie to you chat. He drops an open pass, open high ball. And at this point, my brain kinda just shut down. I actually don't know what that route combo was. And I also don't know why I'm going for it. But I, I know why I'm going for it because I have a money play. And that play, unfortunately, I don't know if it's a tight end because how tall he is. Maybe I got to invest in a shorter tight end. I don't know if it's just because these routes always bump. This is like my go-to fourth down play. I love calling this play, but I just can't call it because of how inconsistent it is. People love to blitz. People are expecting verticals. Honestly, verticals would have worked right there. Um, but you know, I decided to mix it up in this soft space of grass where I put the tight end corner, like I predetermined read it, like it's gonna be open right here. I gotta throw it a little early cause the KOs, um, and then they just bump, they always bump. I don't know, this cost me quite a bit of games. I played Kobo in, for the live event and I called this play on fourth down. The dude's bumped again, I don't know what it is. I gotta maybe just chalk this play. It's such a good play too, man. People are never expecting it. It just sits in that, that nice spot uh, of grass where like there's not a lot of defenders kind of in no man's land. You know, you could put a vert hook there, but sometimes it gets over the vert hook. It's just a nice play to call. But for me, I like it's either, it's 50-50. Right here, he had a touchdown. I don't, I don't know if that guy would have KO'd it, but I, I don't know what I'm doing at this point in time. I'm still trying to send the heat. I'm still kind of new in this defense, if you didn't realize. I'm kind of just shuffling through the plays, sending six here, sending four, sending five, sending three, just mixing it up. Right here, I thought I played pretty good defense. I thought the purple would get there. And he honestly, he made it a little late of a read, uh, read cause his guy got bumped. So I thought like that was good defense, ends up getting over the purple. It's all good though. We're still playing good defense. We're still in a good spot, right? Um, right here, does he get his feet in bounds? Thankfully he does not. 38, 28 still, we're up 10. Right here, Sauce Garner, I don't know what you're doing. I think I might've had my hooks on five. Thankfully Ward ends up making a huge tackle, making more time tick off the clock. Right here, really bad defense. I think I get clicked on the D-line again. One thing that happens when you play conductors, you get clicked on the D-line. He goes for the onside kick. Thankfully, Plaxico Burris turns into Superman and just picks it up without any, any, any worry or any scare. Bo Jackson, five yards. This is what I should have done. And I should have ran it again. Instead, I try to go for the dagger, go for the win. He gets a nice scream. Right here, this was honestly crazy. This was terrible pocket, but alongside a really good shed. How, what is going on? What am I doing? I got to get better in these scenarios. And to top it off, I have one of the worst punts you can imagine. So he's not even, he's on the 22, not even on the 20. Um, right here, I'm still chilling though. Maybe not anymore. Um, things are not looking good. But here, Herb Adderley has a chance to end the game. This is cover three cloud. I know what Henry saw. He saw this streak wide open right here on this left side. And he is open right here. But thankfully for us, Herb Adderley in the safety third gets there. He swats it. I really wish he would have picked it off, but he ends up not doing that. And here we go. The most controversial controversial play of the game. 
I don't know what happened here, but we'll take it. Time is going to tick and run out. Did we get bailed? Was the game justified? There's a few plays on my end, like Bo dropping that touchdown. I know I don't use gift wrap, but man, what a game versus Henry. This game honestly lived up to the hype. Um, someone in this chat said, look right here. He had a Y open for the touchdown. Definitely did have a touchdown. I went to guard this because I just assumed this guy would just KO it. And he can't throw the inside guy because either it's going to be a KO or he catches it and time runs out. So a pretty bad user. Honestly, a crazy mega dot. This was an insane dot. He gets pretty cheated, man. That's a pretty bad cheat. Game was going to go to OT or he might have had an extra play to cook me. I will take it, man. I barely escaped by, by the nails on my finger versus Henry in this crazy game. GG's in the chat to my boy, to my dog. Right here, you see the final stat line. He had 500 yards. Nothing new, man. He'd just be putting up yards like he, like nothing. I had 400 yards. I felt like I played a pretty good game. Three quarters. Um, that fourth quarter, my brain kind of went like doo-doo. Uh -huh. Nonetheless, we got the win. GG's in the chat. I liked watching this, seeing what I did right, what I did wrong. Got a lot to work with with this. And I'll catch you guys in the next Mud Headley episode.